stakeholders from all sides in the field of food and marketing met at Eurector from Brussels on Wednesday for a workshop on how to inform consumers. Providing the right information to consumers and enabling them to understand that information is seen as crucial in the fight against obesity. If we really want to win in the end uh, the fight against uh, the growing problem of obesity, we need to inform our consumers, our citizens about uh, a healthy lifestyle and that means um, uh, about a healthier eating, healthier diet. Food and beverage multinationals such as Coca-Cola want to be seen as a partner in this fight. At the workshop, the beverage giant signaled that it's willing to share information on consumer behavior. One of the core assets that we have as a company is consumer understanding. Uh, knowing how consumers react, knowing how to talk to consumers. And, and, and we may want to explore possibilities to put this knowledge um, to the availability of stakeholders. European consumer associations believe that the food and beverage industry is not ambitious enough. Regulation remains necessary, they believe, for food information and marketing. The lack of ambition is too low, so we believe that there must be much more proactive uh, ac uh, initiatives being taken in the area of food information in order, and in food marketing, certainly, in order to uh, enable people to make the right choices. And we believe that industry is lacking ambition and that therefore we should have some sort of a stick behind the door with regulation. Obesity is seen as a seriously complex issue. It's often tied to cultural, regional and family traditions. Marketing is regarded as only one of many factors, and that means the problem can only be dealt with effectively if all stakeholders are involved, including schools and national governments. The best um, visual description that I've seen of the different factors which lead to obesity is this a, a map done by um, the Foresight Report, uh, done for the UK government, which identifies the numerous different elements which may lead to overweight and obesity. There are 106 uh, different influences there, one of which at the top is food marketing communications. You have uh, different tools and different actors who have to intervene. You have the schools, of course. Education at school is, a, is certainly a very important factor. You have governments, you have consumer organizations, you have the industry, you have official websites. So there are many, many vectors of information that should be used in order to convey the right message to the consumer. Health is a very uh, complex issue with a, a lot of factors uh, determining uh, health outcomes. Uh, we should also be able to count on the expertise of all relevant stakeholders to, in order to to promote health. New European regulation on food labeling is in the pipeline for next year. Ultimately, it is all about changing consumer behavior, and that is what the private sector and marketing companies also may have a role to play. Raymond Franken for Eurek TV, Eurek TV in Brussels.